Hello, Miriam. Thank you so much for giving us the first tour inside of Gamuchi and here in Manhattan. It's so nice to have you here. It's going to be a very exciting day for us. We're thrilled to be here. Thank you. Your family has been in this business for five generations. That's correct. Can you tell us exactly where it all started or who well, started it all? The jewelry part was all started by my mother, Anita Gamushin, who to this day still works. She had us when she was very, very young. I'm not allowed to say her <laughs> age. And she was uh, always coming. She was always working with my father more on the financial side in uh, his office in Antwerp, Geneva, and New York. And my father's uh, business specialized in fine gemstones. Okay. He was actually one of the first one that started the whole natural color diamond craze. And he had an amazing collection that was at the uh, Natural Museum uh, History here in New York. Wow. And so she was coming to New York. This is back in the 70s. And the jewelry then was just so different than what was happening in Europe because she's from Istanbul. She was born and raised in Istanbul and then came to Belgium when she married my dad and us, my, the fourth generation, we were all born in Belgium. And so we are European, our tastes are very European. And in those days in America, unlike today, you, you, know, you didn't have the Donna Karens, you didn't have the Ralph Lauren. The fashion, as well as the jewelry, was um, just very, very different than what was happening. So she saw this uh, need for more delicate, feminine, elegant jewelry that she felt was, uh, was lacking here in, in this country. So she called me and my sister while we were in university because we all came here for college in the United States and she called us while we were in university and she said, well, this is what I want to do, but I will only do it if you're on, on the board with us, with me. So uh, we, I don't think we even thought about it for a day. I mean, right. I know I said right away, yes. Of course. And I believe my sister did the same thing. So right fresh out of college, as a matter of fact, even while we were in college, we would work with her, like, you know, summer internships right. and uh, get involved in the business as well. And you still and source your own diamonds out of Antwerp, right? Exactly. So uh, the men are not involved in this business, only in the, in the uh, supply end. So okay. my brother, and he's a key, key person, uh, he supplies us with all our diamonds. And what is very, very important to us is the make that we use on our diamonds. What that means is... If a diamond is well cut, if a diamond is well made in the right proportion, it will sparkle like you can't believe. And uh, it's not just the color, the clarity. This is something that the consumer really knows nothing about. So it's, it's all the, in the design? It's all in the way the diamond was cut. Okay. And then our job, the girls, is to give these, I mean, our motto is show as little metal as possible here. It's all about the diamond. So. Uh, our jewelry is very classic, very elegant, but my, my customers tell me my jewelry sparkles across the room. And that's something that just makes our day. When my sister and I, we hear that, or my mother, you know, just people say, wow, your jewelry just has so much sparkle. You know, automatically we get a smile because that's what, you know, ultimately the design should be beautiful, but the jewelry should really pop. Because after all, we make a very, very fine piece of jewelry. Now, what inspires someone to make a certain design in, in a piece of jewelry? Very, very interesting. Um, my sister and I, we get our inspiration from so many different things. You would laugh. I mean, sometimes I, I take the subway every day. Uh, you know, I think of something, an idea. Same with her. She's in the park with her kid or a dog. And she comes up, you know, we have a lot of floral. Um, our jewelry is very organic. It's, it's never like straight lines. It's always... I don't know, circle, feminine, fun, mm -hmm. but classic. I mean, a Gamushin piece is here to look good today and it's here to look good tomorrow and to pass on to your, to your grandchildren. We always pay attention that the, the styling is not going to be, oh, that's so, you know, 2010. Right. A Gamushin piece, I mean, as a matter of fact, one of our bestseller uh, item, our, our iconic three-prong, uh, setting is something that we've been doing since since the beginning and it's still our number one seller that setting is still something that will just never go out of style it's just uh, something that uh, classic but still very trendy classic and trendy I mean it's like you know I don't like to compare myself to a Chanel but I mean a Chanel suit from 20 years ago is you can still wear it today and well, same thing with a Gamushin piece of jewelry 